what's up guys how are you guys doing today so today guys don't be afraid to be different have some fun and be yourself guys but I don't know why there's music on my computer um, I know it's juice world for sure um, I guess this one of his under or er, unreleased songs but um, which is on SoundCloud but yeah we are about to go play outside and I released a new video today and it was on uh, guessing uh, or guess the rapper guess the rappers by the zoomed in picture so I posted that today and I only got one wrong which was Chris Brown but then before before his name came up I kind of guessed him um, but you know it is what it is um, it was honestly a fun challenge and I want to do more like hip hop related videos on my channel now because hip hop is a huge part of my life and I don't know I just want to incorporate hip hop into my YouTube videos because it is such a huge part of my life and doing these videos is pretty much showing you my life but I recently found um, it's not a new song to Juice World. It's an old song. It's what it's his first song ever recorded and put out anywhere. It's on SoundCloud. It's called Forever, and it's probably my favorite song right now. And my favorite Juice World song ever is Armed and Dangerous, just because it has so much significance with me. Just because every time I'd go to my baseball game, especially walking up the diamond, how I did all last summer. I would listen to Armed and Dangerous, like pretty much that was the first song on the on my playlist walking up and um, getting ready for my game, Armed and Dangerous. And it's just my favorite song, it just has so many references in it and it's just amazing. It's like a hype song too, but also like a relaxed song. So it's my favorite Juice World song, but Forever is an amazing song, I ha like I've been non-stop listening on SoundCloud. And Juice World is honestly one of my favorite artists ever. And he, uh, my top three are Trippy Red, X, and Juice. And I don't know why, but they personally their music is timeless, and you can just go back there and listen to the music anytime, and it just hits the same. And they're they're honestly just amazing. But we're about to go outside. Um, I might get, hopefully I get the, the shots today, different cool shots, but, yeah, so we're about to go outside, so I might catch you guys then. Alright guys, so I am outside now, and, uh, John should be out soon, so we should get some shots and cool stuff, so, uh, catch you guys doing those shots. So, it is now a couple of days later. I don't know how many days later it is. But uh, I kind of decorated my mirror here, and so I put James, but I couldn't find an S, so I just put a Z. And then up here I have a bunch of stickers. And that's like a college stickers, it's Durham College. And then Apple, then Headley. Um, that one was at my school, believe it or not, the Headley one. But, uh, yeah, so, as you guys can see by the title, um, like, albums that, like, they're, like, unreleased, and Genius is just kind of um, speculating on them. But the first one I'm going to be talking about is Outsiders by um, Juice World. And it was, if we go by the description, it says, uh, This is Juice WRLD's third official album and has no official release date as of now, and the track list hasn't been announced or teased. There's no telling which songs will be on the album. So there are some songs we have On the Run, Righteous, uh, Come and Go, Burn, Inner Peace. And these are just like speculated stuff and... Like I said, there's nothing uh, to say um, that like the this is actually true. Um, but this one says, um, 
Uh, Blood on my jeans is a track that was teased by Juice World in, uh, Juice World's Instagram Live on August 27th. Juice World raps about his girlfriend Ali Lottie and how he will never break up with her. And he also mentions his gunshot or his gun and how he shot an unknown individual. Huh? More you know. Oh, uh, now it's titled On the Run, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there are five tracks on here so far, which this is only the beginning of this. But um, I know that... Well, I'm going to show you two of my favorite artists today, and they're up in, like, stuff like that. Um, because, I don't know, they're, like, my favorite artists, so why not to show that? Because Trippy Red, believe it or not, um, he has three albums that are on Genius, and I don't know why, but they, he just has three unreleased albums that are on Genius. And so the first one is called Pegasus, and this is this is the only one that is not speculated. So there's 1400-800 uh, album or tape, and then the Neon Shark album. I believe this is the rock album, and yeah, this one's the rock album, and and then Pegasus is just another album. So if you read the track list is unconfirmed. It has been compiled of recent single snippets and song titles sourced from streaming services, PROs, and social media. It is, per, it is purely speculative and has not been confirmed by the artist. And so, um, right now we have, if we look, there are a bunch of songs and there's one titled Love Scars 4. Um, and he's done He's done three love scars already. I believe the, I think the second, or so it was like, um, it was on his, well, uh, it was on A Love Letter to You 4, Love Scars was before A Love Letter to You, for, or A Love Letter to You, and um, it was on like the little SoundCloud EP, or album before that. If I could find it, if I go on SoundCloud and find Trippy Red here, um, but or not? Let's see, Trippy Red. Um, and if I find this, if I go to album, so it, it was on White Room Project EP, I believe, uh, or maybe not. Yeah, Love Scars. Um, Love Scars, You Hurt Me, and see that was when it was on, so it was on White Room EP, and then on A Love Letter to You, um, Love Scars was on there, then it was Rock City slash Love Scars 2, so there was Love Scars 2 on there, and then, um, this is just another single, but it's a title album, and then, um, I believe, I don't think it was on here, um, yeah, so it was on, um, there's no love letter to you, too, on here. Huh. There is, cause the, uh, I guess not, but I, I believe it was on, yeah, see, Love Scars 3 was on, uh, A Love Letter to You 3, and, but, I, it's kind of cool, maybe that it would be Love Scars 4 on Pegasus. Um, so we have... There's a bunch of songs on here, speculated though, and so, I mean, that should be interesting to see. And then the next one we have is 1400-800 uh, tape, and so, uh, it's like the same thing again. So, the track list is unconfirmed, it is compiled recent single snippets and stuff like that. 1400-800 uh, is... A collaborative project between Trippy Red and his artist set to release after the deluxe version of his album A Love Letter to You 4. Huh. So there is a bunch of songs on here too and I the more you know I guess Genius is up with it. And um he Trippy Red has been doing like um Instagram lives where he's just showing off a bunch of different songs. 
And so I, that's where they're getting this information from. And then now, the last album that of his is, um, so we have Neon Shark. And Neon Shark is, is um, I know I talked about this before. Uh, I think I did, maybe I did. But he's making a rock album. And so we talked about this at the beginning of the year-ish, kind of after... Uh, he t after he dropped the deluxe of A Love Letter to You 4, he was talking about this, so there are a couple songs on here, and I believe this one is with, um, if you look at it, I believe this one is with Scarlord and um, stuff like that, and so it should be interesting to see what he comes up with, because so... Um, because I know, well, ever since, um, I believe he's going to drop one of these albums this year. It'll either be, actually, I think, uh, for I don't, either, there might be one at the soon, and then, or maybe one in the summertime, and then maybe one during the fall, maybe like that, and then something like that. Um... Because although he's dropped a, a love letter to you tape every single year so far, um, unless he doesn't get his heart broken again, which is kind of a good thing. But um, this year he's already dropped a love letter to you for deluxe, but I don't know if that counts as an album. Um, so we'll see. And uh, I'm excited to see what he's going to put out there. But yeah, so I don't know. It's just kind of been these unreleased, unreleased albums of my favorite artists. It's now later and like I'm honestly really enjoying doing these um, like hip-hop videos so if you wanna I'm gonna be posting another one soon and it'll be guess the rapper by the emoji and so it should be interesting and uh, yeah so I've been I've been really working hard on these thumbnails to make them look as pretty cool as possible because I love designing and I don't know it just works really well together um, and yeah so I'm about to go downstairs uh, after I finish this video and probably watch some TV I and mean, I've been recently watching a new show called well it's not new I, I guess it's kind of new it came out in 2019 it's called Hudson and Rex it is by the same company that produces Murdoch so it has a bunch of characters from Murdoch on there which is kind of interesting so it's like a pretty much modern day Murdoch but uh yeah so I'm about to go downstairs watch that as well but I basically do think that is going to have to end off today's video so I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys watching another video guys Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. See you guys Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Yeah, my wrist shot ahead with the gleam. With the gleam. Yeah, my neck shot ahead with the gleam.